Hi everybody! <laughs> How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Well, this is, as you can see by the title page, this is day one. Now, some, some of you might have been thinking, well, it's a bit of a strange point of time to start doing daily vlogs again. Um, especially when things have been going on for quite some time with the whole things going on currently in the world. Uh, as we all know what that is. So, but yeah, I just thought to myself, I did this about a good year or so ago, maybe two years ago now, maybe. Oh, it's approaching two years, I don't know. But I remember I did uh, about, I don't know, about, about two or three, maybe four weeks, maybe. I, I did quite a length of time. Of doing nothing but a vlog. Um, some of them were just basic hello vlogs. And others were going out for walks. Things like that. And I'm thinking of bringing them back. And this is possibly the start of those. So, so this vlog. <clears throat> consider it vlog number one. In my daily uploads. I want to do this. I know it's at a weird time to do it. But I want to do it. Because it's for my own sake. For my own health. In order for me to kind of get my mind off of certain things that are going on at the moment or try to and just try to be there for people for the other people that are watching me that are also in the same situation at the moment it's just a way for me to kind of be there for you so uh, maybe once a day i'm gonna do like a little vlog nothing fancy but it's just a way for me to get out there and just check up on everybody and um, I mean, as, as as I said in the last vlog I did, I can't really do much at the moment. Um, I can't go places, I can't travel, but I can go out for the occasional walk, at least one hour a day. Um, so if I'm out and about, I can just whip the camera out and I can just do a little talking to you guys. And then most of it's going to be in this house or in my bedroom or somewhere in the house, unfortunately. But I'm going to do this, not... I'm going to do this for me, and I'm also going to do that for everyone else that are watching, so that you've got a familiar face there to kind of just, you know, watch along with and just ride out this whole situation. I mean, you know, saying it like that isn't very... I don't mean anything by saying it in that way, but it is something we are currently... We find ourselves on a roller coaster of mega proportions as we've nobody I don't think anyone's really witnessed this in modern uh, you know anything like this really and we need to kind of do something so that we don't just start fizzling away and we need to do something to preoccupy our minds and this is something that I can do I'm off for the next three or four days uh, so I can easily get the next three or four day vlog wise out without any problems um, I'm back at work, I think, on Tuesday, I think it is, I'll have to double check that, but I think it's Tuesday I'm back, so, but I should be able to do another vlog or something, so I don't know how my shifts are going to be when I go back on the on, on Tuesday, but I'll see how things go, but I, I'm sure I'll be able to get a little vlog out, no problem at all with that, but yes, so I hope you're all doing well, I'm still okay, I've just had something to eat. Um, been to get, uh, just went to, sh to shop, luckily there wasn't any queuing going on, went to my local shop and got a birthday card from my grandma because it's a birthday on Sunday, Easter Sunday, so I'm going to nip around there on Sunday, I haven't seen her for ages, I know I shouldn't, well, with the government saying you need to stay away from loved ones and things like this, especially the elderly and the vulnerable, but it's a birthday and... You know, I know I can't really go anywhere near her at the moment, and my granddad. But I'm going to have to go around there with a card and maybe a little present or something just to cheer her up a little bit and uh, just say hello. Because I haven't been around there since Mother's Day. And I know that sounds really bad, but my granddad... I have mentioned this before, but my granddad's in a bad way at the moment uh, with his health. It's not nothing to do with the virus. He's got like a clot on his lung, and I have mentioned this before, but 
is in is mostly being bedridden for a little bit because of it, and he don't get out very often to get around the flat. He he does very little at the moment, and he's being treated at home. <laughs> Excuse me, so sorry for that. But um, but yeah, I need to stay away from my granddad as much as possible because my my, my grandma and my granddad are both in their late eighties. Um. I think they're about 86, 87 now. And uh, so, yeah, they're very cr- at a crucial age. If they was to get this virus, they would almost certainly... There'll be no coming back for them because they are quite... Uh, they're not... You know, they are quite uh, vulnerable to any sort of thing like that. So to keep them safe and myself safe, I've had to stay away from them. Um, because I, I... With me working in a retail establishment, with me working at... You know, in retail, I am around hundreds or even thousands of people a day, including colleagues, that anyone anyone that I come into contact with during my shifts, you don't know who is a carrier, who has just recovered from it, or who currently has it, and they probably don't know they've got it, because apparently there's different stages, everyone's different with how they deal with this virus. Some people don't even know they've got it. There could be a carrier of it. Some people probably don't even know they've got it, but they've had maybe a cough for a bit or they've had little symptoms, but nothing bad, and they're still going out for shopping. So you've got to be very, very bloody careful at the moment. And um, I don't want to be that person to go around to my grandparents and give them this virus, and then that's and they end up in hospital, and probably that'll be it. I don't want that to happen, so... I'm a bit concerned about that, but I'm going to have to just go around there with a card anyway, because it's a birthday, and uh, say hello and everything, and see how they are, and just do, just do that, but uh, yes, so today I'm just going to chill out, um, uh, last night I was going to do a bit of Disney Plus, but um, I didn't in the end, I ended up bloody falling asleep, <laughs> Um so I ended up falling asleep down here last night, and then I woke up and then went back to bed. Went out to up to bed properly. But I'm going to have a nice few drinks. I treated myself to a few beers. Um, oh, excuse me, and a bottle of Jim Bean because I've been working flat out, and I thought, well, I got paid like I got paid on Thursday just gone. So yesterday, so I got paid yesterday. And um, I thought, well, I've been working really flat out and really hard. And I thought, you know what? I know people are going to not be very happy with me buying. Because it's not really essential shopping. Some people have this perception about what is essential shopping. What is an essential item? And to me, an essential item is something that gets you through things. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. And I think some of those people have been fucking pricks at the moment i understand there's a limit to buying certain things at this time yeah i mean i I mean i i have just bought myself a 10 pack of beers and well yesterday i bought myself a 10 pack of beers and a bottle of jim bean and that's going to do me fine for the next couple of days i'm not going to go out and buy any more that's just a little treat to myself I am allowed to have a little treat, even in a pandemic. Um, I mean, the thing is, at the moment, some people are going ridiculous. You know, some of the um, some of the totes with the home shopping stuff we've having we're having to pick. There's been some ridiculous amounts of bottles of wine, like almost like a party wise of wine. So not just for one singular person. It's literally about maybe. Easily could have been a par- house party or something like that. We've you know, that we're going through. Um, so it's that that kind of level of alcohol is a bit disgusting in my opinion. But if it's just a a, a pack of beers or a, bo- a couple of bottles of wine, something like that, that's fine. Because we need a little bit of in it, especially at the moment. You need a little bit of. Uh, you need a little bit of escapism. 
You need a little bit of a, tr just a little treat to yourself to try and perk yourself up because everything looks so dire at the moment and you need a little pick-me-up and even if it's just a, a little bit of alcohol, a little bit like, like what I've just done, that's fine. If it's just maybe a bit of chocolate cake or an Easter egg, it's Easter. Get your eggs. It's Easter. I know this is going on, but you treat yourself. You know, you have to allow yourself these little treats, especially at a time like this. Because um, it helps you, Just it just gives you that little bit of cheer, that a little bit of cheer, and it makes you feel better. That's my opinion anyway on this other subject. Other people may vary, but... That's where my mindset is on it. There's two sides to everything. But, anyway. I'm going to leave you and leave you. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another daily vlog. Thank you for your continued support. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.